My name is Céline Caillé. I am the deputy head of the Medicine Quality Research Group here in Oxford. My area of research is the quality of medicines. The Medicine Quality Research Group is the, one of the only uh, dedicated research groups globally to work exclusively on this topic. We work on substandard and falsified medicines. Substandard medicines are medicines that are produced by authorized manufacturers and they can contain low or high active ingredient amounts or have dissolution problems. And falsified medicines, on the other hand, are medicines that are made by criminal intents, so usually by criminal organizations, and they can contain no active ingredients or wrong active ingredients. One very um, recent example uh, is a heartbreaking outbreak of children below five dying because they consumed uh, syrups, pediatric syrups, containing a very toxic ingredients. And hundreds of children died in the Gambia, in Indonesia and other countries in the last two years. Let me give you a little bit of context. So uh, medicines regulatory authorities like uh, the MHRA in the UK or NAVDAQ in Nigeria are the safeguards of the quality of uh, medicines in the supply chains. Currently, very few um, uh, regulatory authorities in low- and middle-income countries have laboratory capacity or devices like portable devices to check the quality of medicines. But that's a key activity, uh, and that is called post-market surveillance, that the regulators need to do to safeguard uh, the quality of their medicines in their market. So in our group, we work on portable screening technologies. There are many portable screening technologies available to test the quality of medicines, but they, these devices haven't been developed for this purpose. They've been developed, for example, for um, identifying explosives on crime scenes. And so, but they could potentially work for medicine quality. So what we are doing is that we are looking at the available evidence, the scientific evidence on the performance of this device for medicine quality. And we, we gather this information together because there is some information, but not a lot. And we gather this information together on a visualization tool that we call a dashboard that is available for as a guidance tool for regulators to choose the right device for, this, for their purpose of post-market surveillance. We also work on testing some devices, existing devices that can be repurposed for uh, testing the quality of medicines, including tablets, capsules, but also more recently vaccines that we started during the pandemic. And even more recently, the problem of, I mentioned, with the kids dying um, because of these toxic ingredients. So there are many big questions, I would say challenges and mainly gaps of evidence uh, in, in this field of research. First, we don't really understand what the problems are uh, um, re related to the quality of medicines. What are the issues? Where are they? But regarding portable screening technologies, which are the main projects we are doing at the moment, there is also a lot of gaps of evidence. Um, for example, we don't know uh, if devices can accurately identify substandard medicines containing low, activing, low amounts of active ingredients, so high amount of active ingredients, or we don't know if this device, there is very limited evidence that they can detect degradation. So if medicines have been poorly stored or transported, they can degrade. So um, there is not a lot of evidence regarding devices for identifying those. I believe that everybody should have access to quality medicines. Empowering regulatory authorities with portable screening technologies will not only um, allow them to timely identify and take action uh, on potential occurrence of substandard and or falsified medicines to prevent the medicines to reach the patient, but also it will do similar as um, um, speed limit control radars on the roads for, for cars. It will likely decrease the occurrence of substandard and falsified medicines. I believe that no one should suffer the tragedy uh, that happened to the kids dying because they used um, uh, contaminated syrups. This is likely to be only the tip of the iceberg. Many cases will go unseen, especially in low and middle income countries. And substandard and falsified medicines will not only affect health, but also the economic systems and the trust in health systems and in pharmaceutical systems. And when antibiotics are affected, it will likely be a, a driver of antimicrobial resistance. By having portable devices, regulators will not only be able to do more routine activity of surveillance of their quality of medicines, but also they will understand better what the problems are, where they are, and find solutions to fight them.